so he numbed him up and then he uses his little um, eye magnifier machine <laughs> hoopy hoopy <laughs> and took these tiny little plugs and like with a tweezer um, and just like pulled my eyelid down and then shoved them in my tear ducts. Okay, slight backstory. This is actually happening after my eye appointment today, but I'm gonna put it at the beginning so everything makes a little bit more sense. So I've got eye trouble. I've had bad eyes forever. I've had glasses since I was six or seven. But um, last few years or so, I've had massive trouble with dry eyes. And I was actually referred to a neuro-ophthalmologist because we thought it may have something to do with Graves' disease, which is another autoimmune condition, which I don't have. Um, but he was having to check things out and whatnot. And I'd always had really dry eyes, gritty, um, burning. They just hurt. Um, both eyes, my right side is always worse. So when I was there at my appointment um, getting checked out for... Um, thyroid eye disease he did a dry eye test which is they numb your eyes after they do the whole like eye pressure thing after that and then they have these little strips they're like litmus paper strips and they put it over your tear duct inside your eye and you have to close your eyes or as good as you can since I have trouble with that and they stay in there for five minutes and then there's like lines and numbers on them and it reads how um, how much moisture you have in your eye after five minutes. So um, when I went originally, I'm at work. Hold on, I'm gonna give you a tour. A tour, a tour. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have to see the ceiling. I have ornaments on my ceiling all the time because it makes me happy. Um, squirrel. Um, so when I had the dry eye test done, I had absolutely no moisture in my right eye at all and a dinky tiny little bit in my left eye. So I was diagnosed with what's called it's dry eye or Sicca syndrome um, and it ties into my Sjogren's which is um, one of my autoimmune conditions and it's just super 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 no moisture in your eyes, no moisture in your mouth. Um, I have trouble with my GI tract uh, complications with it as well. So at the first appointment, I was put on um, three kinds of eye drops. So I was put on Restasis that you all see the commercials for. Um, so I do that twice a day. I can't have contacts in when I do that, and I have to stay out for at least 15 minutes. And then I have um, Lodamax, which is an anti-inflammatory to try to calm my eyes down so that they can produce the moisture um, as good as possible. Um, those I do three times a day. And then I also use something called Theratears, which is just an over-the-counter artificial tears um, that's a little bit more natural. And that one I do every hour um, or as often as I can. If I can do it more often, I put them in more often. And uh, I also wake up in the middle of the night and put drops in my eyes probably three or four times a night. Um, just because my eyes are so irritated. I have, because of how dry they are, I have a very hard time keeping my eyelids shut when I sleep, which lo and behold makes them even drier. Um, so that was what I did for a month and then I went back and nothing was getting better when I did the um, dry eye test again. I had no moisture in my left eye and a, like an iota of moisture in my right eye. Um, so I was added another one called um, Restore PM or Refresh PM, depending upon which kind you find. And it's actually an ointment, like it's this little bitty tube, it looks like super glue. Um, so you put it like a, it says a quarter inch, like on your lower lid, like on the inside. And then you blink it all around and whatnot. Stuff gets super, super blurry. Um, so I was really hoping that that was going to help. And unfortunately, it seems to have done the opposite. My eyes are, have been worse the last month um, with trying to do that extra um, ointment. So I went back today and had everything 
redone, um, rechecked, whatnot, and then um, I'll let the other videos explain the rest of it. So here you go. Hey guys, I'm at Neuro Ophthalmology today and um, I have really, really severe dry eyes and so for several months we've been trying different um, drops, medications. I do um, Restasis twice a day, I do Lodamax three times a day, I do Theratears every single hour um, or as often as I think about it. I wake up in the middle of the night to put drops in. Um, and they're not getting any better. So we're gonna put plugs in my tear ducts today and see if that helps and I can retain the moisture a little bit better in my eyes. So um, I'm really, really hoping it works because the next option is like, we have to make a serum out of my blood and all sorts of stuff. Oh my gosh, it's been a journey. So I'll keep you guys posted. And I'm done. It was actually super, super, super easy. Um, they put more numbing drops in my eyes, um, which is super weird because my eyes dilate with numbing drops. And he said it just happens with some people. Um, and so he numbed them up and then he uses his little um, eye magnifier machine, <laughs> hoobie hoobie, <laughs> and took these tiny little plugs and like with a tweezer, um, and just like pulled my eyelid down and then shoved them in my tear ducts. Um, I felt the left one, it was kind of uncomfortable, like pinchy. Um, I didn't feel the right one at all. Um, so I still have to do... You can't see anything. See? Nothing there. But they're in there, they just look a little poochy. So hopefully it'll be, um, hopefully it'll help and I still use all my drops and all that stuff. So, oh my gosh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that helps. Hey guys, I'm finally home. Um, it was a very long day after a really long week. I had three appointments this week and it's so much driving and it upsets my system and whatnot. So I feel not awesome tonight. Um, I've got another headache. I've got problems with the right leg, my throat hurts. Um, I've been having trouble with taste buds on the tip of my tongue and they actually kept waking me up last night so I've been rinsing my mouth with hydrogen peroxide to see if that'll help calm everything down. Hasn't done anything yet but I'm hoping for better luck tonight. The plugs in my eyes I can actually like I can see the top of the plug and um, I took a picture um, with flash on so that you can see it and so I'll try to put it in here so you can see what they actually look like on the top um, so the left one hurt when he put it in the right one I didn't feel at all when he put it in like I felt the tweezers when he was like touching my nose but that was it and Tonight, the left one I can't feel at all, but my right eye has been bothering me for several hours. But that one's the one that I always have trouble with, so it's not like super crazy that that one's giving me a harder time than the other one. The um, I asked him, like, plugging it up to me sounds like, well, we're just going to stop all the moisture from getting into your eyes. But it's different, so I have... Another picture that I looked up, and you can actually see like the ducks and whatnot, so I'll put that here. And so how it works is the moisture gets into your eyes, but then you have the ducks is actually what like balances the moisture, and so that's what takes it out. So there's still one on top of both of my eyes that can take it out, but the bottom one is plugged. And he equated it to plugging up a sink like a kitchen sink so you plug up the bottom and you can fill the sink with water so he said that's kind of the same principle behind what we're trying to do here um, if this doesn't work I go back in a month if this doesn't work then I have to go through some process I think I said it earlier that my blood is turned into some type of like hoobie hoobie serum um, one of my guys at work tells me that I'm like the next queen of the zombies and um, so I just need to eat brains and I would feel better. And at this point I'd probably do just about anything to feel better because it's just, it's hard and it's hard 
after working and lots of driving and whatnot and I come home and all I want to do is lay down like I'm so exhausted. But people keep telling me I have to eat and whatnot. So I am going to try to eat. And oh, and the, the plugs, I don't remember if I told you guys that if they come out, I have to call and tell them and then if they stay in for a month and he'll look at removing them when I go back after a month I react weird to stuff especially like I mean I've got lots of piercings and all of that and I've had some issues with that with healing and whatnot since my immune system is a little bit less than special um, so we'll just we'll see how it goes and I hope this helps anybody else that's going through the same thing it was super easy and whatnot, not anything to be worried about. So hopefully all is good and we'll hit the next round. So, all right, that's all I got for today. I'll see y'all later. Bye. I have one little update to add for the plugs. Um, you know how I was saying that I could feel them and it was kind of uncomfortable and whatnot. Um, if I have my contacts in, I can't feel them. I can look every direction and whatnot. I can't feel it at all. It's only when I have my contacts out that I can feel it. So I guess I'll just have to live with my contacts in all the time. Ah, there's always a catch.